Friday, September 4th, 2015. Letter from Mary at the Mary Atelier. Day 5 journal prompt from Voices Facebook group. Tell about something your father or your mother said that you want to remember. When I was a youngster, I would often go to the home of one of my childhood friends. I loved going over there because she had a real piano and was able to take piano lessons. She didn't think it was such a great thing to have to practice, but I did. And every time I played at her house, I considered it the most fun, especially on days when she would invite me to sit with her on the piano bench and flip the music sheets as she played. Oh, I wanted my very own real piano so bad, but my mother would tell me that we just could not afford one. Now I wonder how true that was. Now I wonder if perhaps the noise from that piano practice might have been the real reason why my parents could not afford a piano. Well, they did not get off the hook that easy about the noise. You see, I was, well, a very imaginative little girl. I found a magical, imaginary piano. And for hours, for hours, I would sit at that old kitchen table and play my imaginary piano. One day, my friend taught me one part of a duet on her real piano. And when I was at home, I would practice and practice and practice my part of the duet on my imaginary piano. I knew my part by heart. I can still play it today. I never learned her part, only mine. Well, one day when I was happily playing my imaginary piano and singing along with it, it seriously bothered one of my brothers. Mom, make her be quiet. Mom, make her shut up. Well, obviously I was a little off key. My mother pulled me aside and explained to me how I could make beautiful imaginary music in my head and sing as loud as I wanted any time that I wanted. I must have worked for a while as I really don't remember any other complaints when I played my imaginary piano. I never did get a real piano. When I was in the sixth or seventh grade, my parents bought me a clarinet and my brother got a trumpet. We made all sorts of real music then, both of us. And I never did hear my brother complain anymore. I think I still have my clarinet in storage. I may have my brother's trumpet too. I don't know, he may have it. I just don't remember. But my imaginary piano, well every once in a while I pull it out and practice my part of the duet. Friday, September 4th, 2015. Mary at the Mary Atelier. I'm out in my car and today I'm going to do some more urban sketching and I'm in the town of Stoughton and I'm parked parallel parked according to the parking spots but there's this kind of a sidewalk scene and that clock I just love that old clock and then if you go across the street over this way yes you will see more buildings and cars but I think I I think I really like this scene right here have one more sketch that I want to do today. I'm back in Madison out at 
the community gardens area. And oh, it's so beautiful out here. It's a quiet, quiet Friday afternoon, right before Labor Day. And I thought that, well, see, this is that chicken coop. I've sketched that chicken coop several times before, but I thought maybe I would sketch some of the gardens here. Kind of an interesting area. But I like these flowers right in here. I kind of like this scene. So that's what I think I'm going to sketch next. Thank you. 